I just say very proud that I'm very lucky to be a part of a group as a member of, of Reportage by Gate Images. I think um, it's a place that I feel very, very at home and they are pushing uh, to get from us the best of us and keep growing as human beings, as, as photographers. It's amazing to know that the way you are uh, is a place that is about photography and not about photographers and that we are photographing for a big audience and not for us and we have i think a very open wide angle of thinking that um, as photographers eight eyes see more than two well for a photographer for a journalist uh, yeah i think so i mean uh, well i don't i think so yes i mean this is question has been uh, it's a bit tricky these days, especially now in the master class, because there's been a huge discussion about what is photography, you know, and photography is so wide and uh, it's hard to say, I mean, what you are. Uh, from um, I think I'm a photojournalist, of course I am. Uh, my faith is in photojournalism. I really believe the, of the strength of photography to, to tell and to uh, bring to our world and to our collective memory what's happening in the world and if you uh, photography doesn't that's an understand about language it doesn't matter if you are from france from china from india you understand it the strength of photography is that time never returns every second is different from the next second and photography is able to make a moment forever and it's sad to say that in our world there are so many moments that we cannot forget about them and photography has the strength to put it up in our memory forever and make us think and the next generations. I think I really believe in that. But uh, being honest, at the same time, I like photography for me in personal projects that are not for a journalistics, for photojournalism. I like daily life issues that it makes me feel, but I focus that kind of issues in a very, very different way. Apocalypse means lifting the veil, lifting the veil of that part of human beings, that conduct of human beings that sometimes we don't want to see directly, the worst face, worst face of human being, that looks like we always try to get always making the same mistake and always the same issue, killing what we more love, that's life, human being life, trying to show who is behind every uniform, who is behind every weapon, who is behind every victim, all those breaking dreams that human beings are always doing and once up and now uh, and generations are looks like that we are keep making the same mistakes. How do you turn this into photos when you are in front of someone that is a victim of a conflict? A woman has been raped, for example, or a man that has been that have lost all his family. He looks to you in a different way. Now maybe sometimes a bit naive. And sometimes he hates you. But when you are able to get inside his life and you spend some time with these people and you look to him the same way you should look to you, because that person it could be you, you are able to bring back to our world situations that could sound or that could look familiar to us and that we could understand. That's probably the strength of photography, that if you are honest and you are trying to photograph people with respect, human being, and trying to show the way they are, you are able to make people feel, think, and, 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 and stuck in one moment and say, how could these things happen? In war, you see situations where you see the best of human being. And it's true. And I think uh, um, you see situations where somebody has lost everything and you are able, and these people are able to give the best of them to help the others. And I have seen that in many, 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 many places, thanks for God. I was crossing the border between the Fur and Chad uh, six years ago with a group of uh, refugees that were trying to, to arrive to um, um, the camps that were close to, to, to a high. And I remember they had lost everything. They were walking through the desert with, it was a full village, the survivors. And I was with them walking and they were carrying 
the tiny things they were able to save from their own village. And we got a huge, huge, huge storm. And we were in the middle of these uh, wadis, like, like rivers. And it was very, very, very scary because the situation got crazy because of water. And in five minutes, everything was full of water. And the people start trying, shouting, and trying to get out of over there. And it was quite a lot of water. It was like, how could this happen in the middle of a desert? I couldn't believe it. It was a case that you saw. Uh, there was an old man and um, an uh, old woman sitting down after this storm. But they have lost everything. They had lost absolutely everything. But you could read perfectly well that they were having each other and at least they were happy and it was hard because it was something that I haven't seen too much and you see those like okay we are together we keep together it was a very intimate intimate and very personal moment and I didn't need that photograph I thought it was for them and I didn't want to I like sharing it in words but that moment was for them